The power of Stardew Valley compels me. Oh, the power flows through me. Mmm, cake. You know, I've done a lot of things in Stardew Valley over the last couple years. I, I got Shane off the sauce, motivated him to breed some blue chickens, apparently. I broke up this fight between Dwarf and Krobus. Well, actually, technically the wizard did that, but you know, I helped. Well, I mean, I guess I was- I was there. That- that counts, right? I even made a bunch of these little Junimos happy so that they could return to wherever they came from. And I happened to complete the community center while I was at it. Thus the people rejoiced and the evil Joja Corporation was kicked out of town. Down with our corporate overlords! I never did trust that Morris guy. Bye, Felicia. I even went to this, uh, celebration of the Moonlight Jellies that they hold every year. It's not really so much of an accomplishment, but it's just super cool. And, and I went every single year for the last, like, three years, so that's something. I, I like, I like this part. I've done a lot of great things in Stardew Valley, but you know, there's one thing I haven't done. Get hitched! That's right, I have yet to get married in this game, and so I decided it's time to go a-courtin'. There's several people that are single in town, and it's about time that I look at some of my options. First one, I think I'm gonna try for Emily. Yeah, let's see what Emily's up to. Just gonna pop by her house here, and... Oh, I'm sorry, were you sleeping? Uh, I can come back. Okay, um... What is going on now? Mui wa. Mui wa to you too, Emily. So hey, oh, I'm apparently in the cloud too. How did I get into your dream? Maybe, maybe I am actually Freddy Krueger. Damn it, I don't want Alex to be right. You know, Emily, I don't know what you're on, but I want some of it. This is tripping me out right now. Oh uh, yeah, it's a sign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, oop, gotta go. Well, finally someone said it. Thank you, Emily. All right, I mean, she's a little strange, but I'm gonna go for it. You know, I'm realizing that the only time I have seen these parrots is when Emily is around. So now I'm wondering if I can also see the parrots, or if this is just in her head. Ah! Well, if it was in her head, I don't know why she'd want one to hit her window. It is a poor thing. What are you going to do about it? Well, at least she understands that she's different. I mean, that's the first important thing. She seems she didn't give the bird a name out of respect. I don't understand that at all, but okay. Everyone knows the way to a woman's heart is maple syrup. Oh, you want to show me something? Haha. <laughs> all right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, alright, sounds great. Let's, uh, a little nervous here, but... There's our parrot, uh, the, the unnamed parrot. It's nice to know that it's got a job. Um, alright, I don't really know what's happening now. Uh, am I supposed to clap along too? I mean, I, I knew that she was a little strange, and... Oh... Boy, I don't know if this is the game or if I'm just tripping out right now, but this is crazy times. Okay, uh, apparently centipedes got in here. I mean, it does look like an old school game, so I guess that makes some sense. Sure, let's go with it. It's everything's fine. Okay, yeah, so... I don't even know what that's referring- What are aliens doing here now? I am freaking out. I don't- Um, I really want to say nothing and do a slow clap. No, that was amazing. That was amazing. Yeah. I'm gonna just back out slowly. Boy, Emily is weird. But hey, I don't really have anyone to dance with at the luau. That makes sense. Okay, so I think Emily's out. Um, you know what? Maybe I can uh, set her up with uh, somebody else, like this uh, Clint fellow. 
He seems pretty nice. They seem to have good chemistry on this commercial shoot. Uh, I mean, except for that part where Clint turned blue. Yeah, hey, Emily. Uh, have you met my friend Clint here? Clint's pretty cool. Yeah, take it, Clint. Go for it. Yeah. You, you just, just go for it, Clint. Confidence, my friend. Confidence. See? She's, she's asking you a question. Don't bail now. Okay, see, that's bailing. You, you just bailed there. And, uh, I can't help you if you're not going to help yourself. And see, Shane? See, I had gotten him off the booze, I guess. It looks like a beer right there. Oh, and he has those new blue chickens, and she just asked about chicken stories. Clint, this is really not going well for you. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of are. I tell you what, though, Clint. Why don't I make it up to you by, uh, buying all of your coal? You feel better, buddy? I, I also just needed coal, for the record. All right, I have to rethink my game plan. I mean, if Lewis and Marnie can find happiness together, then I guess, you know, anything's possible, right? I mean, besides the whole thing where they have to keep it secret and meet in private for reasons. I honestly, I never really understood that plot line. The, the point is, love can bloom in Pelican Town, so obviously it can also bloom for me. You know what, what about Leah? She's kind of the, the artsy one. Let's go with Leah. Screw maple syrup. The way to a woman's heart is all that wine. Let's go a courtin'. Oh, hey, Leah. I was just coming to see you. It is a beautiful day. What's up? A sculpture? Oh, how nice of you. Ooh, conceptual. Oh, yeah. I would call that a sign. Oh, now it's called Wood Sculpture Number 3. Oh, I thought it was called How I Feel About Nathan. Oh, apparently we made a whole series of them. I see how it is. Oh, oh, do I get a mention? Oh, that's real big of you. I see. Now that we're a big highfalutin artist, I get a nice special mention as a friend. Oh, yeah. No, I've been down this road before. You know what? I I'm not playing this game. Sorry. I'm, I'm super proud for you, Leah, but you know what? I gotta move on. I gotta do what's right for me. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. Abigail, I choose you. Oh, she's perfect. She likes to play video games. And she plays music in the rain. And she has purple hair. She is so cool. All right, I'm gonna go for it. Oh me, uh, I'm uh, I'm just uh, enjoying the weather. I do appreciate the somber ambiance. It's like we're of the same mind. We have this deep inner connection. All right, well, I mean, it's not much of a tree, but yeah, I'll stand near it. And oh, look what I just happen to have on me at the moment. That's right, a mini harp. I didn't even know I played it until this very moment. But we have found out that when maple syrup and wine fail, music is the way to a woman's heart. Jam session. I think we're really hitting it off. I think I finally found the one. Hey, Abby, would you like to come out on the dance floor with me for the flower dance? You would? Aw, oh, sweet! Yes! Take that, every video game that screwed me out of a romantic ending. Well, it took me until year three to actually get to dance at the big flower dance, but here we are. Doesn't Abigail look so beautiful in her spring dress? This is terrific. I finally found my soulmate. Life is good here in Pelican Town. You know what? I'm gonna do it, guys. I'm gonna ask her to marry me. Just have to pick up a bouquet from Pierre, which is admittedly a little awkward because that is her father. Hey, Abigail, I have this bouquet for you, um, so I wanted to ask you something really important. Okay. Never mind then. Yeah, things still suck here in Pelican Town. Uh... Santa! Oh, please give me something good this year. 
Wait. Santa's my grandfather? I should have been getting way better presents all these years. And thus life continues to suck here in Pelican Town.